Hey guys, Canal here, Bulls on Wall Street. Let's talk today about why you should avoid trading Forex at all costs. Today's video is very important because the trading world right now is full of misinformation and it's really geared towards just marketing these days. And so why do you wanna avoid Forex at all costs? I'll tell you the number one reason. Forex has the sleaziest marketing that you can do, all right? It is totally geared towards getting people that just have like $100, $200, even $50 and just taking it, right? They give them leverage and then they're of course gonna just lose the money and then you take it, right? And so that's all it is. It's just a little Ponzi scheme most of the time with these random kind of unregulated Forex brokers. They know everybody's got 100 bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks. So boom, you deposit it in, they're just taking it. Because what they're gonna do is give you 50 to one leverage, 100 to one leverage, take the other side of the trade, boom, you lose it in a day, they got your money. Now you're gonna go back a couple days later, put in another 50 bucks, 25 bucks, 100 bucks, boom, they're taking it. It's like almost like you're just giving them a subscription business, not really trading. What kind of trading business would let people trade with $50 or $100? So that's just all kind of BS. The second part about Forex that's so weird is that there are like Forex businesses that are like MLM schemes now. Like I remember back in the day, I used to sell Cutco knives. MLM scheme. Uh, if anybody remembers like Quickstar, that was like, you know, the, you know, you're selling people like soap and shit like that. That MLM scheme. So, you know, people used to do it for household goods like Tupperware. And now they've moved on to Forex. So you like sign people up for Forex and then they go under you and you kind of get something. Come on. I mean, that's not really what the trading business is all about, right? The third part of this, which is important is name me one big time Forex trader, right? If you go on Instagram, Twitter, wherever, and right, you put in Forex, like why are these always like the greasiest, sleaziest looking dudes with the fake jewelry, fake cars, and they're just like always trading on their phone? Dude, look at this contraption back there. Dude, becoming a trader, you don't need all the tools, but you need some tools, right? You actually need computers. You can't trade off your phone and make bajillions of dollars unless you already started with bajillions of dollars and you're just kind of managing it. So Forex has like all of this weird stuff that goes totally against like all principles of trading, at least in the stock community, right? You can't open a stock account with a hundred bucks, right? And just go and trade unlimited. You know, you can't do these kind of things. There's actually some rules in place. A majority of the big time traders in the world are coming from the equity side, the stock side. You might have some options traders, some futures traders, but never are they Forex traders. So always kind of be mindful of that. You name me one good Forex trader, I don't buy it. And you can always tell, right? Because they're always leaving the comments in the YouTube, like, hey, Mr. Michael, Chernobyl, taught me and then there'll be like somebody reply oh my god he taught me too and then they're always going back to forexes right so in the end like you want to stay away from this to be able to trade guys you can't do with the hundred bucks you're gonna have to save some money get a second job do whatever you gotta do build up your bankroll and while you're building up your bankroll start to learn read watch classes just get on the simulator Build up that bankroll piece by piece. Don't come in and just say, hey, I have limited capital, therefore I shall trade this. Whenever you're taking a trading style due to lack of capital, you're starting off on the wrong foot. You cannot pick a trading style and a trading instrument based on how much capital you personally have. That means you're the mark, you're the sucker. And so you don't wanna do that, guys. Get your knowledge on, get a side gig, don't worry about Forex. Anytime you have 50 to 1, 100 to 1 leverage, you're gonna blow up. Anytime there's an MLM scheme involved, you're usually the mark. So just be careful out there. There's other things to trade. Let me know if you have any questions. I love you guys, peace.